Welcome back. Chucky's on 106.7 The Fan. want to let people know so we're not flying solo that this Friday, that's October 17th, we're going to be hanging out at T.W. Perry's Springfield Grand Reopening Party, noon to 2. Do stop by. We're going to have a bunch of prizes. Top, ball, top golf's going to be there, too. It's a barbecue. You can win football, hockey tickets. When is that? It's T.W. Perry. This Friday, <laughs> noon to 2. Right after the show. Get basically. it on your calendar, Rick. You can, you can hang out here for like an hour and drive over to Springfield, Virginia. We're going to be hanging out at T.W. Perry for their grand reopening. You can buy cakes. a silly floor lamp or a chandelier while you're there. I don't think Cakes will be there because he'll be on his way to Aruba, correct? That's true. Uh, I think at that point in the day, I will be just wasting my life away at the Charlotte Airport during a three-hour layover. Oh, my God. That's, you know, what well, are you going to do? A bar. It's tough to find Did direct you... flights to Aruba. It is? Did you book that yourself? Booked it myself. You botched it. I definitely... I'm telling you, go, go online and try to find a direct well, flight I think I... to Aruba that doesn't cost two grand. Good luck. Oh, are they oh. flying you or are you paying for it yourself? Got a $400 flight credit okay. from the PPC. So Players you go to Charlotte and then how far is it from Charlotte to Aruba? Three and a half hours. Well, that's not horrible. All Almost the entirely three... over water. Tilting. Well, you come on. <laughs> kind of tilting. <laughs> what difference does it make? I would rather fly over terra firma. Than right, over just because water he's just thinking part. if there's an emergency, you, you can land it. There's, if there's yeah, I mean, any emergency of any kind and you're up there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Water. you're cooked. I mean, is Sully going to be at the, the helm for my. Well, when are there uh, emergencies? They're rare. I mean, almost never. <laughs> yeah, one, exactly. out of, one out of what? 400,000 flights a, is, is an a, emergency. Isn't it a little comforting to know that you're flying over land versus water? No, I'm it's with a you. little comforting. I'm with you, but JP's point is there's never an emergency. It's a slight right. out. Right. It's a very slight Look, out. The that biggest I have. leap of faith that I've taken was when we flew to Hawaii because that, I think, it's been so long since I did that. Isn't that like, is it six hours from LA? It's got to be, right? Or is it three hours? I think I've, it's as far from LA to Hawaii as it is from DC to LA. Yeah, I think then it's, I think I think it's, it's a solid hours. five I mean, to six that is hours. A full blown leap of water. faith. Just so I think, six it's, hour I think it's another, yeah. yeah, it's like another cross country flight, except for it's all over water. Yeah. I mean, that's a show. That is a giant leap of faith. All right, time now for the junkies. But let's go around the NFL. And we will start with the Monday Night Football game where Colin Kaepernick threw for 343 yards. Three touchdowns for the 49ers. They erased an early 14-point deficit to beat the St. Louis Rams. Defense stepped up. They sacked Austin Davis five times, twice. It was Ahmad Brooks. That, when do you get um, Bowman? When, when do you get Bowman probably back? Not, probably not till November, if then. And when do you get Smith back? They still haven't decided on that one. Alden Smith. Yep. I tell so, you, Anquan Bolden is incredible. He's ageless. I mean, what? How old is he now? Got to be well into his thirties by now. Got to be at least thirty-four, right? I would think. I mean, Brandon Lloyd, we talked about him. He's thirty-three, but he hasn't had the consistent impact. Bolden's that, that thirty-four. Bolden had. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Bolden had seven catches for ninety-four yards, and I tell you, maybe I'm stupid, but every time I see Colin Kaepernick have a good game, I go, I don't know why my boy can't do that. I don't know why Robert can't do that, Cakes. I mean, Bolden on the season, 30, a, 32 catches for almost 400 yards. At this he, age, he that's having, impressive. He's having a pretty good year, too. Yeah. I mean, he's not putting up the, the Aaron Rodgers, Philip Rivers type numbers. Cap. But his rating's pretty strong. Limited pretty, the turnovers. Pretty efficient. Doesn't have a ton a, of turnovers. He had a rating last night of 120. I don't know if this counts it. Uh, but going in. I think he's in the 95 range. It was 97. Do you know how many guys yeah. are over 90, though? Yeah. Like, you, you have now. to have a quarterback rating over 90 these days. Like the bar is completely changed yeah. in the NFL. But the difference in that game or the, the turning point, if you will, was right before it's halftime. 14-3 St. Louis. San Francisco has it deep in their own territory. I think right around their, you know, 15. They run a couple plays, not really calling timeouts. They, you assume they're just trying to run the clock out. And that's probably what the Rams thought too. But they caught Janoris Jenkins lunching on the job. Yep. On the left side, and they hit Brandon Lloyd for 80 yards. So they improved to 4-2. and A couple of contenders for the Super Bowl this year are going to be facing some injury issues. The Seattle Seahawks have an injured uh, linebacker in Bobby Wagner. He left Sunday's game against the Cowboys second quarter due to a toe injury. Sure, he doesn't have a bruised, so he's a bruised ego from the loss and like Drabby does to the Cowboys. Left tackle Russell Okung has a turf toe injury. Well, he's always injured. I mean, when is that guy not on the injury list? 
Uh, the Patriots, who we're talking about loading up, they've got some injury issues themselves. They ruled out linebacker Jared Mayo and running back Stephen Ridley for Thursday night's game against the Jets because of knee injuries. Well, Ridley's out for the season. Yeah, I don't know Ridley about Mayo. Ridley torn ACL I mean, he's done. and an MCL. Oh, I think Mayo's out for the year, too. I didn't Mayo. see details in his, but the quote I saw on his leg injury was, quote, it's bad. Yeah, yeah he, was, <laughs> he was carted off the field. That doesn't sound very good. <laughs> and he was seen on crutches. He was wearing a compression sleeve on his right knee. You so, know what? Maybe I'm not going to bet on the Pats this Thursday night evening. JP, I, I apologize. See what I said? I apologize. Alan Smith's a nine-game suspension. Okay. So he'll be out for another, what, three weeks. Yeah, so Why? your defense is going to be even apologize? Because I said they hadn't decided, but they oh. they announced that a few weeks ago. Uh, yeah. The Cowboys' offensive line, of course, has been carrying the Cowboys. Led them to a 5-1 and one start. DeMarco Murray's going for over 100 yards each week. It looks like they may be without their right tackle, Doug Free. He's been diagnosed with a sprained foot. So a lot of key players going down uh, this week for some of the better teams. I don't know if you guys saw the video. Greg Olson has called out. Greg Olson, tight end for the Carolina Panthers, has called out uh, Vontaze Burfecht for intentionally trying to injure him and quarterback Cam Newton following touchdowns. Perfect's a linebacker for the Cincinnati Bengals. What does he do? Twist a, the leg? Is yeah. that what he does? It looked like he tried to basically break right. He's like break their ankles. He's wrenching their ankles when they're down on the turf. Drab, what do you have to say about this? Vontez Perfect, a sun devil. What, what do you ha- what do you do with this guy? Play until, play until you hear a whistle. <laughs> you may not have heard it. <laughs> oh, yeah, but please. is that playing when you're twisting the ankle? No, I'm kidding. He's he's a he's an a-hole. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Was he like that in college? Oh, he got kicked. He punched his teammate in the face. Yeah. He got kicked off the team. Good Remember, guy. He had a terrible oh, I mean, I reputation. Know he was a, I know he was a very good player, but he did have a reputation. The reputation was awful. That's why he, he went, went so low. Yeah. He yeah. went from a first round pick to undrafted. I mean, he's a good right. player, but. So he's Greg an animal. Olson has called for the NFL to suspend him. Said punishment needs to go beyond a fine. Guys like that don't learn from that stuff. He's been fined 100 times for headhunting. He did it to Calvin Benjamin again. You watch the film, that's just what he is. What do you think the NFL does? I don't know. Would they watch the film and say, yeah, he's intentionally trying to hurt him, but we got to dock obvious. him a game? I, I don't know. I don't know what you can do. I don't know if it warrants a, a suspension, maybe just a fine. They should find Mike <laughs> Nugent for missing a chip shot. Field goal bring him up. I was going to bring him up. <laughs> Even though do. his last miss was the difference in the overtime game, Bengals could have beaten the Carolina Panthers with a 36-yarder. As time expired, they say they haven't lost faith in the kicker. Marvin Lewis, the head coach, said, he does yeah, it again, still they might. have the same feelings. we got to make the kicks, though. Mike has a couple jobs to get done, and that's one of them. So that's, they're that's standing all nerves behind right there, right? their kicker. That's got to be nerves in that situation. I mean, he can he can make a 36-yarder blindfolded I don't, I don't in practice. Know. I mean, I guess. You start you thinking just, about, all right, this is the game winner. i got to make it. it. I don't know. Is it bet good snap, good hold? Looked like it was to me. I know from my professional experience, kicking against the Divas <laughs> and making all four extra points. Yeah, it's barefoot. Although I did chunk one and almost missed it. Really? Almost came up short. <laughs> On a 20 the ultimate experiment. <laughs> because there was a penalty. There was a penalty and it brought it back. And then I got a little bit nervous. No, no, a bogus penalty. They trying to, he's trying to level yeah. the playing yeah, field. Yeah. There bogus was a bogus penalty. penalty. And all of a sudden, my extra point got pushed back. <laughs> and then I chunked it. Hit the ground first. Right. Barely got over the crossbar. We're now beyond 10 years, right? Yes. We yeah. couldn't even do a 10-year anniversary. No. A rematch? Yeah. There's happen. no way I can do it. There's it in my knee. No, I, I, I determined it's like yours. It knows when it's going to yeah, rain. you got a trick knee. <laughs> when my knee starts hurting, it means it's going to be a rainy I day. I would need to borrow Cam Newton's flat well, jacket it's gonna start my ribs hurt. It's going to start raining tomorrow morning. Yeah. Here and all day, so it's going to start hurting tonight. Well, it's, it's already hurting. All right, it Your knows. knee's hurting. Bear, I looked it up. There, it, is, it does have something to do with a lot of doctors. Now, it's controversial, but some doctors do think the barometric pressure does affect, like, old people's uh, I think you're right. knees and things I like think that. Right. And backs and stuff like that. And weather affects We're talking about joint knees. pain. Yeah, joint pain, like ligament and all that yes. stuff. You're killing it in the 55 and oh, over demo. Oh, slaying. Well, all and of a sudden... My knee's fine, and then all of a sudden, it's a cloudy, rainy day. Knee starts hurting. It's a bad bill, Rick. It'll stop the pain. Uh, last but not least, we talked about it a little bit earlier in the program. It does seem like RG3 is getting closer to his return. He's expected to start individual drills this week. 
Coach Jay Gruden said that next week he could actually start taking some practice reps. Let's get him out so, there. Let's see what he's got. Individual drills this week. Practice reps next week, I and then he's going to probably go full board Tampa. the following week. I say the Tampa. Tampa after the bye week. Yeah, they've got to be like. I didn't think he'd be back that quick, but I think he's going to go ten. That'll give him seven games. Well, I thought he was out for the year. He'll get hurt again, though. <laughs> right? You know, he will. what's the next one going to be? What's the next Ooh, injury going to be? That's a yeah. good. That's a because good bet. I'm going to say get your ribs. Dollars, I'm going to say ribs. Get fractured your ribs. dollars out, bitches. <laughs> We're betting on the next RG3 if injury. It's, if it's knee or below, I mean, that just might be it for him. I think uh, if I'm, I have to bet, can I get, can I get the first one in? Everybody's in for a dollar. Right, I'm going to bet. The if first, somebody hits it, they win the pot. The first one that's going to keep him out. Yeah. It's going to be devastating. He's going to tear his ACL oh. again like Sam Bradford. Well, then that's I'm might be say, curtains on his Redskins I'm going to say rib injury. Ooh, a rib injury. Because he's going to get pummeled. Concussion. Doesn't know how to slide. Oh, that's, that's Concussion. A good one. You Concussion. know what? I'm going to go a little off mm, board. i got to write them all in the bet book on the phone. Hold I'm going to go with clavicle fracture. <laughs> that makes sense. It ties into he he get, doesn't know how to slide. He could get ragdolled by somebody and throw to the no, turf and break his collarbone. Nobody bone. gets tackled harder and more awkwardly than Robert. I have broken yeah. collarbone. Everybody's in. By the way, just to go through some of the older bets. Have you paid EB his dollar for Rafael Soriano's ERA going up? Thank you. No, I'll give him a, Ship uh, it. 101. See, I was going to say, I'll give you 101. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that was August 19th when you made that bet. Um, EB, you, you bet Valdez, though, know the dollar that the Redskins have a better record than the Houston Texans. That's not looking oh, too good. Save the dollar, Valdez. Oh. I think this one's safe. How did I make that Cakes, bet? you bet Drew Brees is going to have 50 touchdowns this season with me. Please tell me more it wasn't more 50. than a dollar. No, that's a dollar bet. What did the Texans have? Three wins? What are they, like Houston's three and three? three, and three yeah. They're three and three, and we got one win? Yeah. Yeah. I, that's still in play. We could hit four. <laughs> and hello, Drew Brees could still throw 50 touchdowns. He's got a lot of work throw to do. 10 this week. Yeah. All right, when we come back, we'll open up the Junkie Sports page. Lurch will tell us the latest in the Jameis Winston saga. Has he now joined the bunch of signing illegal autographs?